then I'll be selling merch in the back. So that's where the real MC happens. That's where the real MCing happens. Okay, cool. So uh, before we get into the awesome meat and potatoes of the show, we're going to bring out a comic who you're going to love. You may know him from the Pod Damn America podcast. Chelsea Clinton podcast. Woo! Free Jesse Smollett. Yeah, all of the, all the lefties are here. Um, Joe Biden couldn't be here because he's at is that a Jimmy John's arguing with the manager about the free smell sign. <laughs> Beto's at a Taco Bell order, ordering a white wine margarita in Peggy Hill Spanish. <laughs> Andy Klobuchar is just playing the new Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Didn't want to come out. No, I'm just kidding. We're not those fuckers. This is the left. The left crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! 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 Well, the lefty regulars are here. Uh, Cancelled Twitter account whose avatar is just a black circle. Hello? <laughs> just in the back in a funeral veil. Um, I'm just fucking around. I'm gonna do, we'll do some jokes and then we'll uh, kick this shit off. I will be performing the new Nick DiPaolo special. It's <laughs> Triggered? Huh? Fucks. And uh, then after that, Annette. And then, we'll all go home. No more show. Ugh, stand up is so fucking dumb. I. I was in Atlanta a while back. Check this out. Cool town. Um, flew red eye there. I was really tired and uh, didn't want to spring for a hotel because I don't make very much money. So um, check it out. I went downtown. I was like, I got a brilliant idea. I'm going to sleep in a museum. That's cool, right? <laughs> no one likes learning shit. It'll be nice in air conditioning. Charge cell phone. Fucking great, right? <laughs> Smart plan. So I go downtown to downtown Atlanta. And there are three museums in downtown Atlanta. Okay? Check this out. There's the Coca-Cola Museum, the Civil Rights Museum, the Georgia Aquarium. So I had to sit there and figure out which of these is going to be the easiest to sleep in, right? <laughs> right off the bat, Coca-Cola Museum, you're out. It sounds loud, bright, all sorts of capitalistic shit going on. Mm, not going to do it. Civil Rights Museum... I am not going to be seen sleeping in the Civil Rights Museum. <laughs> that seems a little gauche. You know? It's a good way to get canceled. Someone snaps a picture of you. Look at him in front of Dr. King like that. He just <laughs> thinks this is all a bore. So, by process of deduction, I'm going to go fucking sleep in the, uh, the Georgia Aquarium, right? So I went to the Georgia Aquarium, paid 40 bucks to get in, walked in, immediately realized I was fucked. The place was choked with families and kids and shit. I don't know what's going on in America. People are going out to museums with their kids. It's fucked up, right? <laughs> so I was screwed because it was like too loud. I couldn't sleep. So I just had to go to the aquarium. For like eight hours, I just went to the aquarium. <laughs> Up for three days, I look homeless, I look like a Unabomber and shit. All tired, whacked out, honestly, kind of drunk, you know? People are holding their kids like close to them as I walk by. Like, he's allowed to see the penguins too. Don't, just don't look at him. Let's go. You know? Saw everything there was to see in the Georgia Aquarium. I saw turtles, I saw the starfish, I saw the the weird dolphin show where the teenager comes out with a Britney Spears headset and it's like, Welcome to the at t Dolphin Experience, motherfucker! <laughs> I saw an otter suck its own dick, pretty cool. <laughs> it's a weird day, I had to see everything so I didn't know anywhere else to go. I saw the movie Happy Feet in, not 3, 4D, okay? <laughs> If you know what a 4D movie is, it's a 3D movie where they just do other shit <laughs> to make you feel like you're more in the movie. They poke and prod you and stuff, throw stuff at you, spray water on you and shit. But, here's the other important part. 
you see a movie in a museum, they, they don't have time to show the entire movie. So they cut the movie Happy Feet down from its feature hour and a half to like 15 minutes. When you do that to a movie, it makes no fucking sense. There's all sorts of third act problems and shit. No, there's like, it's already a weird movie. There's like a breakdancing penguin and shit. One of the walruses is just Mexican for some reason. They don't explain it. You're surrounded by screaming kids and shit. You're losing your fucking mind. It's like Clockwork Orange MK Ultra and shit. Honestly, it's pretty cool. Yes. I'm trying to lie. Highly recommend it. Get it super fucked up. Go see Happy Feet in 4D. At the end of the day, I was like, you know what? That sucks, but. Kind of glad I went to the Georgia Aquarium. Bet they don't have that shit in the Civil Rights Museum. <laughs> <laughs> but what if they did? Okay, check it out, right? Civil Rights Museum, you walk in, they're like, do you want to watch 1960s civil rights footage in 4D? Yes, I do. <laughs> you get into a chair, they start spraying water on you, and they turn the fire hoses in the crowd. Wow, it's like I'm in the 1960s! <laughs> Chair starts shaking, you know. Oh my god, here comes Barry Goldwater, run! It's a fucked up joke. Not proud that I wrote it. Especially because I wrote that joke on Martin Luther King Day. That's why there were so many fucking kids in the aquarium. <laughs> They're all holiday. Careful out there. I am an idiot. I live in New York. Um, when I first moved to New York, I lived in a really bad part of New York called New Jersey. Okay? Boo! <laughs> Trigger Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> um, idiot. I like this city because it's killing me and I just, it's fun. It's so dumb to live here. That it costs so much money and it's so exhausting that you just start hallucinating sometimes. <laughs> Like, when I see a subway train, I don't see a subway train. I see a roller coaster that moved here because it wanted to become a professional roller coaster. <laughs> now that shit works underground every day. I had to get a job. <laughs> um, I work too much. I, uh... work as a bartender often. It's fine, but I, uh, end up, you know, losing my mind, a little angry sometimes. At weird shit, at the wrong shit. Um, bartending has made me hate specific characters in movies, like, uh, for instance, James Bond, worst fucking person ever. Because, right, we all know a couple of things about him, right? He's like an English spy, he's got a gun, he's gonna finger fuck you or some shit. And then he does this thing where he goes up to the bar and he goes, Excuse me, I'll have a martini, you shake it, not stir. Right? Are we supposed to think that it's cool that he's annoying to go out to eat with? Because <laughs> that's all that shit is. That's not, it's presented as cool in the movie, but it's not in real life. No one's ever like, my friend Tony's so cool, he orders a cosmopolitan. Uh, he makes him make it a weird way. <laughs> orders his, his food all fucked up. Do the spaghetti, but, you know, uh, I don't know, like, just some weird shit. Like, fuck him, he's a fucking asshole. I watch him, I'm like, not like, you know what they don't show you? They don't show you the end of the scene where he's like, it also need to spread that over like three different credit cards, because I don't know what I'm doing. Like, he's like a bad person. And it's depicted as cool, and it's fucked up. You know why it's fucked up? Because it causes other people to do that shit and ruins your fucking day, right? It's annoying. So really, it's not, I'm not mad at him, he's not a real person. I'm mad at screenwriters. <laughs> screenwriters are ruining society. Because they're writing movies where people, people copy the shit in the movies, and they write movies in like a, in a, in a fake reality where like the rules of society don't exist. Like in a movie, you can, you can go, get into a cab and just go, drive. We gotta just fucking... <laughs> Does it kick you out onto the fucking curb, you know? In a movie, you can order a dumb cocktail, everyone thinks you're cool, no one's like, well, James Bond, you're a middle-aged man, you drink a beer, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> drink a Michelob Ultra Light, if you're doctor, makes you so mad. You know? So we need to write better movies. This is how we fix it, all right? I want to write 
the next James Bond movie, I went to see a movie where James Bond he goes up to the bar and then he just politely orders some shit, sits the fuck down, minds his own business, looks at his phone. 15 minutes. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Ruin the movie. I don't care. This is from, right? You know those Dos Equis commercials where the old fucking weird guys like, I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I drink. Fuck that. Let me write it. Next Dos Equis movie's like, I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I just order something that's on the menu and sit the fuck down. Mind my own business. I don't bother anyone while they're at work. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not even real, I'm a made up thing that's designed to convince you that one beer that tastes like piss and cigarette butts is different from another beer that tastes like piss and cigarette butts. It's all it's drugs. What are you, what? It's a flavor of drugs. What are you doing? Really, what are you even doing here? It's a bar. You kids at home? You're just here to kill the pain. You know? His, his life sucks. And someone else has all the money. College was a scam. That's why you're here. This is still a commercial. <laughs> it's not even your fault. It's your, someone else has all the money. That's why you're here. That's why you're, you're a pro. And then he pulls out a gun and he blows his fucking head off. <laughs> blood wire, you know? And blood comes down and it says, you know, drink whatever you want. <laughs> Enjoy my shit. Uh, I'll be up a little bit later. Uh, guys, enjoy the rest of the show. My name is Jay.